Um, we've talked a lot about the details in the 400 series, a lot of the new technologies, a lot of the upgrades from the 20 series. But first, I wanted to really talk a little bit about the Control 20 series. Um, those have been speakers that have been around for over 27 years now, I believe. That's right. Um, it's really an entire generation of engineers and audio designers who have used these speakers throughout their entire careers now. Uh, they've been using the 26 and the 24. They're extremely familiar with them. What made those speakers so special? Why have they been, you know, this foundational speaker for 27 years? Well, um, JBL's been in the ceiling loudspeaker business ever since the company was created. It used to be done, every manufacturer made their own driver, transformer, back can, and grill. And the integrator would decide which combination to use for a project. They would put them together uh, by themselves at their shop before uh, installing them in the venue. Um, JBL was uh, one of the main pioneers of blind mount ceiling speakers. That's putting together all of the parts of the ceiling speaker into one, one assembly, back can, drivers, uh, transformer, and grill. The original Control 20 series speakers were a representation of, of how that was accomplished. At that time, the Control 24 and 26 and then the Control uh, 19 subwoofer um, were uh, some of the original uh, blind mount ceiling speakers that hit the market. The market adopted the form factor. Um, the sound was tuned to be a really good balance between flat uh, frequency response for music and a little bit of cutting through uh, for a, a complex sound field like you would find in a restaurant, maybe in an airport or whatever, so that people could understand the announcements. And so these became ubiquitous in the industry just as a speak a uh, series of speakers that could be used for all those applications. There have been uh, changes in, in the marketplace and this new generation of, this next generation of ceiling speakers now incorporates all the things that have uh, uh, adjusted and changed you know, in the meantime with the, the look, the very sleek, elegant look of the full face grill, the, um, uh, the voicing of, of the speaker, the special low saturation transformers, um, uh, the extra thick back cans to enhance the base, just all sorts of improvements, which I'm just delighted have now been implemented in this next generation. You brought up that uh, the Control 20 series are, have been used in lots of different applications. I think we categorize them kind of as commercial loudspeakers, and we keep trying to give examples for that they can be used in restaurants or conference rooms, but they've been used in all kinds of strange and interesting applications, I would imagine. It's not a proper use case, but even before Rick could develop some pendants, I've actually seen them used and hung independent of a ceiling as a pendant, which oh. isn't, isn't a normal use case <laughs> by any means. As a chandelier? It just shows you the level of how confident people mm. are with that speaker. It became synonymous with, I've heard it said by many uh, consultants and designers, when in doubt, just use a Control 26. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and there really is something to be said for that. They know it's gonna work, they know what the sound characteristic is, they know it's gonna be reliable, and it's versatile. 